Alright guys, thought I'd do a quick video of a LED mod I've done to my NES controller. Uh, this controller was pretty beat up, I only got it for 3 quid, and it's a cosmetically not very good condition. So I use this as a donor controller, because I didn't really want to mess up my, my, my normal controllers. They're in pretty good condition if I was honest. So um, yeah, I used this one as a donor for the mod and it turned out pretty well. So uh, I'll show you that. There we are, custom lit Nintendo logo. I'll show you with the uh, blind down so it's darker. There we are. Can even work, uh, well easy to see that now. It looks pretty awesome in the dark, if I was honest. And um, it's a really simple mod. I mean, everything on it looks stock. Just how it came, I mean, without the light on, it just looks like a normal Nintendo controller. No wires, no LEDs sticking out. So, um, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, I, I recommend doing this. So, uh, it's quite easy to do if you know your way around a solder and iron. I wouldn't entirely recommend doing it if you've never done any sort of thing like this before. So, um, it's very simple to do. Um, just contains two LEDs, a resistor and some cable. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it or a tutorial, there are loads out there to do. Um, but there's two options people do do. Uh, on the board there are two little holes with they are empty, they look like where an LED should go. Uh, don't use that. Don't use that at all, that's not very good. What I recommend using is on the board you've got four solder points. The top one is 5 volts, the bottom one is ground. So you run a cable from the positive, which is the 5 volts, to LED. And then from the LED to a 100 ohm resistor, and then back to the ground. A um, 100 ohm resistor works the best, gets the brightness, I think, the best through this uh, Nintendo logo. Um, the, the LEDs I used are uh, six point, sorry, 3.6 voltage, my bad guys. And um, I've got two either side, so I've just run them in one circuit. Um... So uh, yeah, that's it. Custom Nintendo logo backlit on your NES controller. So I uh, thought I'd share that with you guys. I know I haven't uploaded any videos recently. Um, been pretty busy. Um, I've got new stuff on the way. It's just getting the time to make the video and finish other projects and stuff. So um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Cheers.